Welcome to the province of Nova Scotia, Canada, also known as New Scotland. This video will provide 10 reasons why people love Nova Scotia. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to the province of Nova Scotia, Canada. Halifax is the capital of Nova Scotia. Now this video will provide 10 reasons why people love Nova Scotia. People love Nova Scotia because of the Cabot Trail. A 300 kilometer scenic drive rings the northwest coast of Cape Breton Island and Cape Breton Highlands National Park. It is a coastal route where the highest mountains in Nova Scotia dramatically meet the Gulf of St. Lawrence. Cliffs, beaches, viewpoints, and a twisting road gives countless photo opportunities, and this is a very popular motorcycle tour route. Many small communities and tourist attractions line the route, including a variety of local artisans and unique shops. Hiking is one of the most popular things to do. There are also many excellent hiking trails, and tourists can either hike on their own or hire a local guide to show them the best spots. Cabot Trail unofficially begins and ends at Baddock. Home to the father of the telephone, Alexander Graham Bell. Autumn is a favorite time to drive the Cabot Trail, owing to the region's vibrant fall colors. People love Nova Scotia because of Peggy's Cove. Around 43 kilometers southwest of Halifax, the fishing village of Peggy's Cove has a back-in-time feel. Peggy's Point Lighthouse, one of Canada's most photographed lighthouses, sits on the foggy Atlantic coast marking a perilous point. Stark, wave-battered granite bluffs surround the lighthouse and tourists should exercise extreme caution of exploring the rocky shoreline. Fishing wharfs and boathouses line the shore of this active fishing village and colorful heritage homes and art galleries line the winding road. Tourists with some time to spend exploring the area can take a self-guided sightseeing tour of the Coastal Heritage Trail, which has been described as a museum without walls. Top destinations include Peggy's Cove Preservation Area, Pioneer Cemetery, Bishop's Park, and many other historically significant sites like the SS Atlantic Heritage Park. The park includes a museum, many artifacts and information about the tragic demise of the ship and its crew, as well as a nice boardwalk and memorial. This is an extremely popular day trip destination from Halifax, so be prepared for crowds of tourists, especially near the lighthouse. People love Nova Scotia because of the fortress of Louisbourg National Historic Site. The site is a living history museum which recreates mid 18th century fort life with more than 40 historic buildings, costume guides and working establishments. Rebuilt on the site of a 1713 French fort, enormous defensive walls surround the town, some of which were up to 35 feet thick when constructed. The reconstructed site is now filled with a cast of costume interpreters who go about daily life from domestic to military. Visitors can watch servants cook and taste authentic hot chocolate and fresh baked bread, see the merchants hawk their wares, and feel the ground shake as soldiers fire the cannons and their muskets. Tourists looking for a more immersive experience can choose to spend the night here in a reproduction tent or period home, a truly unique experience for couples looking for a memorable, romantic getaway. People love Nova Scotia because of Cape Breton's Highland National Park. The highest peaks in Nova Scotia are in Cape Breton Highland National Park, which covers more than 950 square kilometers at the northern tip of Cape Breton Island. Both the coastline of beaches and cliffs and the inline forests and rivers tempt hikers, campers and families to explore the park. Wildlife watching is excellent in this national park with moose, beaver, eagles and deer often visible from the Cabot Trail Scenic Drive. The park is also home to Skyline Trail, a scenic route laid out in an easy to walk wooden boardwalk path. Overlooking the Gulf of St. Lawrence, visitors can spot whales below while enjoying panoramic views of the rugged coastline. The small Acadian town of Shetty Camp lies just outside park boundaries. It's well worth a stop for its small shops and galleries and dining establishments. People love Nova Scotia because of Halifax Citadel National Historic Site. Overlooking downtown Halifax's hilltop fortress is the remnant of a British garrison that was first established in the 18th century. 
Halifax Citadel National Historic Site, which itself was built in 1856, never saw a battle. Today, the Warren Lake Tunnels, powder magazines, and barracks have been preserved, and living history guides give tours. There are reenactments and fortress guards with interpreters dressed in British reds, complete with musket salutes and sounds of bagpipes. People love Nova Scotia because of the Maritime Museum of the Atlantic. The exhibits and displays at the museum bring the maritime history of the province and the North Atlantic to life, showing visitors the role the sea has played in all facets of local life. Using photographs and personal tales of survivors, excellent multimedia exhibits chronicle the 1917 collision of two ships in the harbour which caused the Halifax explosion. People love Nova Scotia because of the Annapolis Royal Historic Gardens. The gardens is one of the finest show gardens in North America with 10 acres of beautifully planned and expertly executed historical and horticultural beds. The Rose Garden has 2,000 bushes set amongst paths with green lawns and the Governor's Garden is planted in the style and with the plants of the 1740s. People love Nova Scotia because of the Halifax Harbour. A boardwalk lines the Halifax Harbour leading from Pier 21 Museum and the Halifax Seaport Farmers Market in the south along to the Maritime Museum of the Atlantic and restaurants. Tugs, sailboats, and navy vessels come and go, and the views look out to Dartmouth, across the harbour, and George's Island mid-channel. This is where you'll find the ferry for Dartmouth. People love Nova Scotia because of Lunenburg. Brightly coloured heritage houses dot the hilly Lunenburg townscape, nearly three quarters of which are the original structures from the 18th and 19th centuries. Many of these have been turned into inns and bed and breakfasts and the community is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Lunenburg's legacy was established when it became an early shipbuilding center. The town's most famous craft is the Blue Nose Schooner. People love Nova Scotia because of the Canadian Museum of Immigration at Pier 21. At one time, Pier 21 was the Canadian equivalent to Ellis Island, welcoming 20% of the nation's immigrants from 1928 to 1971. Through permanent and changing exhibits, visitors can find out what it was like to travel across the ocean and arrive in a new country. Many of the exhibits are hands-on, including the chance to actually dress in period costumes, go inside a replica ship, and explore the contents of trunks and crates to learn more about the lives of the immigrants who packed up their most valued possessions. The reasons provided in this video are not all the reasons why people love Nova Scotia. If you've got a reason why you love Nova Scotia, pop it in the comments section. I'll make another video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Ciao for now!